Welcome back to Living 808. An automated external defibrillator, or AED, is a portable electronic device that is used to correct abnormal heart rhythms, and it saves lives. Now, cardiac arrest can happen to anyone, even healthy people, like our next guest, Jeff Weiss. He is here with his wife, Cindy. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Jeff, tell us about yourself, because when I think of cardiac arrest, and I'm sure I'm not alone, I typically think of much older people, people who are not active, perhaps. You were none of those things. Yeah, I was not the typical candidate. Um, you know, I've always been athletic, uh, surfer, firefighter, husband and father, but always been athletic. Canoe paddler, I commute to work on a bike, and I was probably the last person that you would expect this happen to. And I think it just shows it can happen to probably anybody. Can you tell us about what happened? Where were you? Um, we had just got done. We were kind of most of the way through a good day off. Um, I had ridden my bike home from work. I surfed with my kids for a couple hours. And we had just paddled our canoe about 10 miles from one place to Pine Trees Beach. And uh, yeah, just a typical. That was a perfect Saturday. A for typical us. day off yeah. for us, you know. We we tend to run pretty hard. And, sure. Um, you live on the Garden Isle, beautiful place. You obviously are an outdoorsy family, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and then this happens. So someone, I mean, when when this happened, you know, this was just, you know, you don't get an alert on your iPhone that this is going to happen. And it was a perfect Saturday. We had biked, surfed, and paddled. We were on the beach with our children, and when he went down, it was it was almost incomprehensible. Uh, but I knew what happened. I screamed, and we had an immediate response by a bystander who had skills. We also had an AED show up right away. And uh, just the aspect of you never know when this is going to happen, and it can happen to very healthy people. Absolutely. We've done several stories on AEDs, and, um, you know, I have heard other stories yeah. firsthand from folks whose lives were saved, people who knew how to use it. It is so easy. We've, we've demonstrated in studio how to use it. It's compact, um, and I am a firm believer that every business, every school, I mean, people need to have these. I think there's a choice you make. If mm -hmm. you're confronted with someone, whether you're at the airport or in the grocery store, you can fight or freak. You can go mm -hmm. get something, and you don't have to have any skills, and you can use it. and. Jeff is living proof. It's it's a miracle. Yeah. So luckily, someone had one, knew how to use it. The lifeguards had newly issued AEDs. Yeah. We were really lucky. Um, the fire chief had just approved that, and it came back around to us very quickly. Um, there was somebody who knew good, effective CPR, mm -hmm. and you know, just like the book says, the chain of survival. It's early CPR early AED and early ALS and if you put those things together it will happen well. Yeah. Um, I have chicken skin really listening to your story if, because AEDs I mean it's it's idiot proof I mean it it mm -hmm. walk it's it actually talks to you and tells you what to do. Can you imagine watching your loved one come back to life in front of you? And a big one too is calling 911 is great but if nobody takes action on the scene this person is fading away really quickly. Mm -hmm. It takes time to get EMS there. And so no CPR. And if you have if you do know CPR, go learn it again. We have new CPR that's way better. Mm -hmm. It works a lot better. So take action fast. We're almost out of time and I could talk to you guys for a, you know, so much longer, but I want to hear from you. I mean, how has his cardiac arrest you know, change your life, your, your family's life? Uh, it's changed our entire, our, our children were there and witnessed this and, and, and you probably can't imagine the terror that we all went through. Two girls have chosen nursing um, and they are here helping people with their lives and we have a son who joined the Kauai lifeguards right afterwards and all of us have a much different take on how survivable cardiac arrest really is. Mm -hmm. um, my husband teaches recruits, he's captain in Honolulu, and his whole demeanor, I believe, towards cardiac symptoms and just events is completely different now. I've been on both sides of it. Yeah. So. Yeah. And not a lot of people can say that. I mean, you're just, you know, your, your perspective, I'm sure, has changed. I look at 
the patients I go to on, on the job, um, my symptoms were not textbook. And so I have a much more skeptical eye when I go on calls that just because they're not saying yes to the questions we ask, it could still be cardiac. And because I was one of those people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I have a, a different view, a different take on it. Um, I'm just a little more s skeptical and sure. it could still be cardiac. Okay, yeah. Um, thank you both very much for, for flying over here, yeah. for sharing your story with us. Um, we are out of time, but I'm going to guess the message here is... Learn CPR yeah. and know where your AEDs are. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for so the opportunity. Much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you for being here. Coming up on Living 808...